So good evening Singapore. This is Rahul Magan here from Marina Bay Sands, my favorite place. And before starting the video, would you like to have happy hours from Marina Bay Sands? Is it, you know, enjoy a pint of Archi Pilio or whatever, this beer, $10, you know, if you wanted to have. It's a happy hour from MBS if you wish to. Anyways, there are multiple things also here, coffee and all. So let's come to the point, right? So the point is that, is NDFs are getting quanto? Not sure. I think most of the people, those who are watching this video are not aware about NDFs. Maybe they might not have saw how NDFs look like, you know, basically how NDFs are traded. For that, you need to see our video. But I want to tell you a short story or something which is being coming to me from one of my favorite banks in the last several days. NDF is based actually one of the basic premise of not one of in fact the main premise of NDF is that non deliverable forward I am sorry I would like to correct myself one of the premise for non deliverable trades is that uh, is it settled in dollar terms but the few big banks are nowadays reporting that people are changing the currency so they meeting it they they call this as a synthetic and the uh, non deliverable trades i call this as a quanto so what is happening is now that bank the banks are coming the clients are actually asking from the banks that the final settlement would happen in gbp it will happen in swiss franc it will happen in uh, aussie dollar new zealand dollar cad dollar as per their local as per their local currency now what exactly they are why are they doing so we don't know maybe they are setting off their assets and liability to each other i don't know Banks call this as a synthetic NDF, I call this as a quanto NDF, right? Or synthetic non-deliverable trades or quanto non-deliverable trades. But one interesting th thing which has started happening in the non-deliverable trades is that these non-deliverable trades are getting quanto now. So when I started my career in 2007 and I started taking non-deliverable from 2009 till 2016, I never ever get to know from the big banks that the non-deliverable trades are actually getting quanto. But non-deliverable trades are now getting quanto. And which is a good signal that apparently speaking in the Singapore also, which is a half for non-deliverable, at least I have to say that, which is a reality and Hong Kong stands nowhere before Singapore as far as the non-deliverable trades are concerned. If in Singapore, the non-deliverable trades are getting contoured, it's a pretty good signal. Now this would have two implications on the bank. One implication, although bank tells you that example, you have a, some non-deliverable trade, the settlement is in the dollar term, say buy side or sell side and uh, you want a settlement in the gbp so bank will tell you that gbp dollar cost is on you but actually there are two ways of looking that cost one way of looking that cost is the gbp dollar cost and banks are actually passing the trading volatility on you now that trading volatility is little on a higher side we know that because not all banks are quoting quanto on the non-deliverable very rarely banks are quoting like gs standard chartered chase uh, gold uh, you know uh, UBS, Bank of America, and 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 few, not not all. Alternatively, thing to see see here is that from a different angle, that if the bank have started quoting non-deliverable trades in the quanto way, how are they covering in the interbank market? Because the scene is like that. If Reliance Industries Limited, which is a famous company in India, who is taking non-deliverable onshore offshore spread positions, if Reliance Industries Limited taking onshore offshore spread in Singapore from chase assuming then chase say dbs then they are then dbs is covering the co covering this in that in the chase uh, they are covering with the chase now the beauty of the game is that they are taking in dollar chase is covering in dollar so more or more or less they are same but now if dbs is covering now if reliance is covering the final settlement in, in gbp while this the dbs uh, local currency is sing dollar Previously, what happened that it creates dollar to sing dollar impact, which is easy to cover for uh, DBS, right? But now, since their basic currency is sing dollar, now and they want quanto in GBP, now it is GBP sing dollar, which is a cross. It means that GBP dollar is getting on. Maybe it has been covered from the, from the client side, but I don't know how exactly the interbanks are settling it. Hardly ha is happening in that regards. The reason being the confirmed report does suggest that the volume of these trades are very limited. So interbank impact is limited, but to, to, to cut the long discussion short, we need to see that maybe one year down the line, six months down the line, seven months down the line, could be one and a half year, maybe two years down the line, NDF non-deliverable trades might see something that it cannot 
that it was settled in GUST, but now it is no more settled in GUST. It is actually settled in uh, multiple currencies as well. I think a very good thing which is happening un underneath and uh, we should be very very careful and we should be see as usual this video we, we should it for the class this is not for the mass this is for our FX traders as you know that if you have any credentials in place you think that you have something good to do in the foreign exchange market you know my mobile number 919899242978 you know our fixed income platform rahul.magan at the rate consulting.in and before that don't forget to have happy hours again it's live from Marina Bay Sands and before shooting this video, let's have happy hour from Treasury Consulting side because this is 699 video. The next video is 700 video and with this, after Khan, Treasury Consulting is the second YouTube channel in the globe who holds 700 YouTube video and Khan war is not far. By December, we will cross before December we will cross 1000 videos on YouTube. The second channel who would have four digit videos in YouTube. We also thank you all subscribers for that and very special thanks to Government of Singapore for giving us enough opportunity to, to thrive in Singapore. Thank you and have a great time.